Hi everybody, welcome to another Kitchen Things Thursday. Today is pickle day. We've got some great cucumbers from the farm share and I'm gonna be making some bread and butter pickles. First thing, I'm gonna slice these into about a quarter of an inch. Now, when I say about a quarter of an inch, you don't have to break out the tape measure or the calipers. In the ballpark is fine, they're still gonna end up great. First thing you wanna do, as always, put a damp cloth underneath the cutting board so it doesn't slide around. And then trim off the ends and start slicing. And now, these go into the bowl. Doing half a recipe. This is about a pound. It usually costs about two pounds. About a tablespoon of salt. Mix these around. Get the salt really mixed well in there. And now these are just gonna sit. What we're gonna see when we come back in about an hour and a half is that the pickles, the cucumbers, have softened up a bit. Cover these up, pop them in the fridge, and then they're gonna turn into pickles. Well, that was a fast hour and a half. So look at this. All this is was uh, salt going in on the uh, cucumbers and they're not as crisp as they were. These were picked from the farm yesterday. And so what does salt do? It brings out the liquid, it brings out the water in there. Look at all that. There was no water added to that. That's just from the salt taking it out. So next thing is I'm gonna rinse these off because I wanna take as much of the surface salt off of this as possible. Just running it through water. Just like that. Give it just a few little turns there. Just give everybody a nice rinse. They're ready for the next step. So the next thing is all the liquid ingredients, I gotta bring them to a simmer. That's because there's some sugars in there and I need the sugar to dissolve. So I've got regular old plain old white vinegar. I've got apple cider vinegar. I've got sugar white sugar, brown sugar, I have mustard seed, I have celery seed, and just a little bit of turmeric that's gonna give it uh, just more, more color than anything else. Bring that to a simmer, that'll just take a moment. And while that's going on, I'm gonna get the rest of the, uh, the cucumbers and the onions going. So there are two more easy steps left to do. One, I'm gonna slice up the onion. Completely optional. I like the onion in with the uh, bread and butter pickles. Just cut it in half and just do a nice little thin slice. And that's good to go. That's the first step. And there's just one more step after this. We're ready for the last step. Here's what it is. I've got the hot liquid here ready to go into the onions and the cucumbers. How do I know this is ready? Because when I run the uh, the wooden spatula around, there's no grainy sugars on the bottom. It's all been dissolved. This is ready to go. Just pour that on. And just stir these in, and these are going to absorb the liquid. Now, this just has to sit for about an hour or so on the countertop, pop them in the fridge, they're ready to go. And you're good to eat them. You don't even have to, and this is the big bonus, you don't even have to go through the canning, the jarring, anything like that. These will go into a regular container, whatever you have, whatever you store your food in, and these will sit well in the fridge for quite a while. So you don't have to uh, take those extra steps to put them up, to can them, and have them in the winter. You could do that. But you can have these now, and these will be good. And these will be great for your summer. Bread and butter pickles, it's the best part of summer.